This person right here literally just said that this is not a video game. And it bothers the dog. <laughs> Could you get the f*** out of my face? <laughs> <laughs> I clutch my boss of no no. Hey, hey, Oh my god, there's four of them. Oh, hey, you got herpes. I have herpes. <laughs> I love herpes. <laughs> I spread herpes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll paint the fucking world with your fucking semen, bitch. <laughs> are you? Are you? Can you do some funny shit for us? Oh, what do you need me to do? Tell us. Tell us the story about how you were born. I want to know how you were born. I mean, my dad and mom. It's not really a story. To be honest, I guess. <laughs> you cute little Pokemon. What you mean? You? Oh, oh god. This guy's a legit voice actor, dude, eh? Choose your character. <laughs> Jigglypuff. Wait, can we get can we get these pants lined up with me? Does this fit, like, if I do this? That's probably the first time he's been in something else's pants. <laughs> oh my god! god. You. you didn't have to do me like that. Oi, can you, can you, can you stare me straight in the eyes with that voice and say, spank me, daddy? <laughs> Wait, everyone be quiet, everyone be quiet, everyone be quiet, everyone be quiet. Spank me, daddy. <laughs> this dude narrated my childhood. The end of Dragon Ball Z and every shitty movie, and every fucking Hollywood blockbuster. This is the guy. Every single time that Goku movie? wanted to go, huh, for like 50 episodes, I was there. Every time when your mother said, hey, I'm gonna be late, you're cooking your own dinner, and you were like, that's fine, mom, I'm playing Halo with the boys. I was there. Double kill, triple kill, overkill, kill Tacula, killing spree, Kilimanjaro. Fucking <laughs> Jesus oh Christ. I told you, he's a walking soundboard, this guy. Are you James Charles? Hi, sisters. <laughs> Hello, you've reached the suicide hotline. To reach the customer service center, please press 1. For all the questions, <laughs> please press 2. I want to die. Story time. Story time. Is about me falling in love with my best friend. Oh, Jesus! I I saw her face, and at that moment, for a millisecond, that felt like a whole year, a whole lifetime. I I thought I need to know that person. That is the gayest shit that I have ever. <laughs> Crash now, spinning, tearing up the grass. Now I'm about to stop. Now I'm blocked. Open up the bubbles of that. So, yeah, it's been nice meeting everybody. Whoa, what the? Oh, it's been nice meeting everybody. Uh, so, dude, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> she actually looks drunk. I'm a... <laughs> What'd you say? I'm a virgin. Shut up. <laughs> Not like that was immediately obvious to me. Nah, my parents are uh... asleep. They would disown me if they saw me I'm like this. <laughs> I don't blame oh, them. Especially wearing that outfit. Shut up. You wanna f me? I know it. What the? F <laughs> I have this one thing that's just stuck in my head. Well, it's just, uh, I can't get it out. It's ridiculous. All right, let I looked it at out. you and I looked at your name just now and I was like, Oh god, please no. And my brain's like, Are you sure about that? Please, brain, don't. I think you want to. What please, the brain, fuck I'm are you talking you. about? And I just keep mullin, mullin, and mullin, mullin, and mullin, <laughs> mullin, and mullin, mullin, mullin. <laughs> Hey, dude, can you tell me, like, the saddest Wait. thing that's ever happened to you? My, my saddest story? Are you quite sure? <laughs> you look like you got some stories behind those eyes. You got some, yeah, you've seen some you sad definitely... shit. <laughs> I've seen some shit, don't oh. worry. We want to hear, we want to hear the saddest story you, that you have ever encountered in your entire life, man. A tale that is one that is from my own past, and the saddest tale I own. I know you have traveled very far to hear this story, and I thank you. But this is one without a happy ending. As you see, I woke up this morning in my usual daily routine. Thinking everything was right with the world. But I was wrong. Dead wrong. I got up, wanted to make myself some cereal. Realized I had no cereal or milk. So I did the only thing I could do. I made myself a bowl of struggleos. Oh, what? Wait, what the was, fuck? was that it? The saddest story that you. <laughs> Just told us. It was a bowl of was that you had no milk. You had no milk and cereal. So you had to have ice water. Are you? What the f dude?
Do you know how well you have it? Some people don't even. Some people don't even have water. Bro, we live in Australia. We eat dirt with our fruit lips every morning, bro. That's it. I'm glad. A struggle is every day. They don't have water. They don't have to go through the pain of eating struggleos. You're full of shit. I thought you had a legitimately tragic story. You, you fucking bamboozled us with your with your fancy music effects and your fancy announcer voice, but you you had nothing to give us. Oh, hi there. I didn't hear you come in. But I want to tell you something that's going to make your life even better. Have you been looking for the new sensation that's sweeping the nation? I know you have. So what are you doing with your life? Head on down to YouTube and subscribe to Josh Dub for even more hilarious and sexy videos.